You're watching InspireNet on the Select USA TV network. And now, let's join Pastor Marcus Select of Marcus Select Ministries in Atlanta, Georgia, in session right now. We want to delve into the fundamental reasons why we have low self-esteem. As you know, if you've been following us on the various sessions online, we have been talking about confidence. We talked a little bit about the I can, the I can do, the I can do all, the I can do all things. By now you know that's one of the reason why people do not have confidence or why they have low self-esteem is because they don't know 39, verse 4. And it reads out of the King James Bible, Lord, make me to know my end and what is the measure of my days that I may know how frail. The I number am. one reason why people have low self-esteem is because they haven't accumulated knowledge Most about have themselves. low self-esteem because we don't understand our existence. We think we're going to be here forever. We think that we're going to be exonerated from time. But time has a constraint on us. Can you say praise the Lord? Turn over to your Bibles to Psalms 139. Read verse in the King James Bible. I would praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works and that my soul knows the first reason why people don't believe in themselves the first reason why people have a problem with confidence the first reason i believe is because they don't know they don't know they were created in god's image they don't know they were created in god's likeness they don't know they were blessed when god made them they don't know that their existence is but a vapor they're only here for a moment they know that they are fearfully and wonderfully made they don't know that the eyes of, of their substance was yet being formed by God's hand even in the lower parts of the earth they don't know how much God put time into them that he may make something that would be after for low confidence somebody could say I'm getting to know myself I'm getting to know the me that God made I'm getting to know the purpose of the me that God made, and I'm getting to know the plan for the purpose for the me that God made. What do you know about yourself that you could say up on the surety that God has showed you? What are you trying to do and how are you trying to live outside of the self that you should be getting to know? Because I have a question. How can you crucify something you don't know? Some of us have delved into the scriptures and delved into the messages that are preached, delved into all of the doctrines without having a time, as my mother used to say, a time of refreshing with the Lord ourselves. Most of us don't take time to get to know God for ourselves. We take somebody else's word for what should be the word, the fresh word for the day. What do you know about you that God has told you? And let me re remind you that while we don't compare ourselves with ourselves, we are ourselves to each other mirrors. And someone that you least expect may tell you something about yourself that you don't want to receive, but we are mirrors one toward. The formation of my belief system is the number two reason why my confidence may be low. And I have to tell you that subject number two could be drawn out. Number two could be drawn out for several reasons. Number one, because our belief system is formed at an early age. Number two, our belief system is formed with other people involved. Can you say praise God? Number three, our belief system is ratified and solidified through experience. And number four, our belief system is confirmed by what we say out of our mouths, even though we may not rule. Romans right. chapter 10, verse 9. And it reads from the King James Version. Verse 8, I'm going to start. But what does it say? The word is nigh you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, here's the principle. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. 
For with the heart one believes unto a standing of whiteness, and with the mouth confession is made unto a standing of deliverance or man is the number two reason. My belief system. When you was a child, your mother told you your name. And she had you repeat your name. Your name is this. Your name is that. And you repeated that out of your mouth so much to the degree that no matter who called your name, you accepted that as your name. Can you say praise the Lord? So you believe that your name, as in my case, is Marcus. You believe it because someone told it to you. And then you believe it because you kept saying it out of your mouth. Whenever, anytime somebody called you, you answered it. And then when you went to school for the first day, the teacher said, everyone stand up and we're going to start here. Tell me. And you're not going to tell them a name that you heard down the street. You're not going to tell them a name that somebody else might have given. You're going to tell them the name that was told to you that you repeated out of your mouth. And that's the same with our belief systems as I come to a close. There's something in your belief system that was told that, that that is, that is formed and composed of things people told you, things people said to you, things that you confirm out of your mouth, uh, things that you thought about in your head that you rested upon as a belief and you move forward perhaps unconsciously or something perhaps consciously we don't know that's for you and the holy spirit to make that judgment but there are some things even the best of us have things in us that we believe to be good that is bad things in us that we believe to be bad that's really good things in us that be, that we believe to be the worst of the worst that's really something in that works that helps you to become the best. We thank you for watching us here on InspireNet on the Select USA TV Network. This is yours truly, Pastor Marcus Select, saying until next time, walk in the blessing and fulfill your destiny. You have been listening to another session, another message on the InspireNet here on the Select USA TV Network.